Hey there, my name is Brendan Neweth. I'm the producer for Pirates of Black Cove. Long story short, I managed to get my newfound friend, Captain Jack Barrel, to give us an interview on the 411 on who's who inside the world of Black Cove. So why don't we give him a call? Hey, Captain JB, Brendan here. Am I calling you at a good time? Me mateys and me are getting loaded to the gunnels in this grog a plenty. So you mean you're getting <laughs> wasted? Ah, you guessed it. Spot on. I see. Well, hopefully you're still up to chatting with us. I have the film crew from Dark Art here and everything is set. Aye, me barrel leggies won't stay beneath me, but me mind be as sharp as a shark's. Okay, Captain JB. So as you know, I'm the producer for Pirates of Black Cove. And if anybody should know what's going on inside this game, it should be me. That said, after meeting you for the first time in game the other day on screen, it would seem that there's a few things I still need to learn. So why don't you share with me and, and the viewers a little bit of an inside on what's going on inside the world of Black Cove. Hey, so you wants to talk about pirates, eh? Well, you've come to the right place. Yes, I hear you're a real badass pirate and that you've been around for many, many years and that you like to tell uh, stories of yesterday. So uh, why don't we cut to the chase and ask you the question that's on everybody's mind. What is this rumor, or should we say legend, behind the Forgotten Island? Ah, a fine question that be. You've heard our crew sing the shanty time and again. Why, I learnt it at my father's knee when I was but a cabin boy, all bright-eyed and eager to do wrong. <laughs> boy, said he, for so he always called me, boy, there's grog plenty and all the gold and treasure you could wish for on that Caribbean jewel. But the vengeful eye of Ja will place a blazing curse upon you should you step one foot onto the soil of his accursed isle. For tis the gateway to the Forgotten Isle, the land of plenty that haunts the sailors' dreams when they fall asleep deep into their nightly stupor. Uh, but mark ya, no one visits the Forgotten Isle and comes back to tell the tale. Well, sounds like a scary place. Cursed, I tell ya! Cursed! So you're saying it's a real place? Perhaps some bold adventurer could find it. I could be found. But all the treasure in the world would not tempt me to this, for only a fool would be marked with the black spot, the pirate's curse. Okay, so if this place can be found, how do we find it? Well, the Isle of Ja, it is all I know. Uh, but now that you mention it, I recall whispers of a ghost ship, a ship that no living soul has seen for centuries. Tis said that Aladdin himself drained his final mug of grog in the captain's quarters. Tis also said he had a map marked with a black spot. Perhaps this is the gateway to the Forgotten Isle. Okay, so while we're on the subject, why don't you describe for us the naval battles inside Pirates of Black Cove? Naval of what? Ah, uh, you mean in sea dog fights, cannons and such, eh? Yes, that's what I meant. They be fought on the world level. This makes it interesting because it allows nearby ships to join the battle, free for all like. Arr. So lily-livered landlubbers like Brendan need to be quite careful in the beginning to not pick a fight he can't win. Can you tell us a little bit more about the ships we've created for you and your men? As you know, there be four factions in our world, and then those colonials. All of the factions have two unique ships each, except for the Black Cove, which have three ship types. Each faction ship mirrors the specific faction features. So Corsairs are fast and agile, Buccaneers have long range, and Pirates fit somewhere in the middle. Okay, so say I'm Walker the Plunk. Can you tell us what I'm up against? I mean, really up against when I leave the shores and hit the waves. Aye, well, the Colonial ships are a terrible blight on the waters, but they're all lily-livered fools. They do make up for it in number, so you'd best keep an eye out when they're sailing in groups. But a pirate says, it's that much more for the taken. <laughs> ah, but then there's the Black Cove, the blackest pirates of all. They'd as soon feed you to the squids and rip you through with a veritable wall of cannonballs. So with them, you'd be needing some special firepower. Oh, special firepower, you say? Yeah, we did create some pretty awesome weapons. But please, do give us your take on them. Aye, well, our main weaponry is, of course, cannons, which you place differently depending on your ship. 
But any ship can be fitted with special weapons like mines, homing rockets, and the odd human catapult that can destroy the enemy's ship from the inside out. Wow, so it sounds like you guys are pretty happy with the weapons we designed for you. Aye, but there'd be one small favor you could add for the missus. Okay, I think I know where this is going. And yes, you did ask before about putting those special underwater fart bombs in game. Aye, tis the grog talking. <laughs> but I do have one question for you. Okay, fire away. Well, the crew back at the stronghold has been hearing rumors of ship racing and other strange things. What say you? Let's put it this way. Ships racing for slips is on the drawing board, but whether or not it ends up in game, we're not entirely sure of at this point, so let's just wait and see. Ah, cause I got myself ashore with her. She cuts the water true, and racing seems a fine way to win a few more ships for me collection. <laughs> well, Captain G JB, I'm glad you could join us today. It's pretty much all we have time for, but I'm sure I'll catch up with you next time I fire up the game tomorrow. Nay, matey, tomorrow I'll be out searching for treasure. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, thanks for your time. Not at all, my boy, not at all. And now, if you don't mind, the grog's a-calling. <laughs>